To begin, remove all parts from the bag and lay them out. You should have the following. One heavy duty pole in five pieces, one flag and bungee, four stand legs, one spring and bearing pole assembly, one base coupler, two hitch pins, typically attached to the bearing pole, one empty sandbag, which you'll need to fill with 25 pounds of sand or pea gravel. Start by locating the top and bottom of the base coupler. The bottom has four holes. Push each stand leg into the hole on the side of the coupler until the bottom of the leg clicks into position. Once all four legs have been installed into the coupler, stand the partially assembled stand up. You should see the top of the base coupler. Place the end of the spring and bearing pole assembly through the hole into the center of the base coupler. After inserting fully, place the hitch pin through the hole of the spring assembly to lock it into place. Place the partially assembled stand into its final position so that the leg closest to the front of the building and corner of the building is at least six feet back from the parapet wall or edge of the building. Place the filled sandbag on the stand through the center hole of the sandbag. The sandbag seams should rest on the legs of the stand. Assemble the heavy duty pole by stacking each piece together, starting with the largest. Open the flag and slide the heavy duty pole through the pole sleeve. On the very tip of the pole, there should be a metal top piece that prevents damage to the flag. If you do not see the top piece, it may have been damaged or broken off. You can place duct tape on the very tip of the pole to prevent damage to the flag. Pull down until the tip of the pole is fully inserted into the strengthened top end of the flag pole sleeve. Attach the flag to the pole using the bungee cord through the tab at the bottom of the pole sleeve and the clip on the bottom section of the heavy duty pole. Place the pole with flag attached on the top of the bearing pole and secure using the final hitch pin.